Hello everyone. Welcome to BISPTradings.com. My name is Sumit and I'm a subject matter expert in Dynamic CRM. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate you how to set up a custom workflow activity by using Visual Studio 2012 for Dynamic CRM. So before start implementing the same, first let's understand what do we mean by custom workflow? Custom workflow activity it enables us to extend the steps available when we create a workflow. So I believe that all of you are familiar how to set up a workflow in dynamic CRM and while setting up a workflow we got few steps but those steps are limited steps. We cannot add our own functionality into that. So by using custom workflow activity, we can build our own custom logic and based on that logic, that workflow can be executed. So by default, the steps which are available with workflow is we can create a step. We can add a step for creating a new record, for updating existing record, for assigning a record to a sales manager or a salesperson to send an email and so on. But let's suppose if I need to add a step that is not in that list, which is not available in the list, such as sending an SMS message or validating a specific field. So if that those steps are not available in the default steps in the workflow that can be achieved by using by building a custom workflow activity. Usually custom workflow activities are compiled in dynamic links library. It creates it generate DLL libraries and those DLL libraries you can share with your uh, with uh, your other team members or you can share DLL with other users as well and they can simply register the DLL files those custom workflow DLL files in their in their application by using plugin registration tool. So let's take a scenario and based on that scenario, we will be going to build a custom workflow activity. So the scenario here is I have got a company ABC and that company used to get many leads. And those are auto generated leads and the company the, uh, the company generate the leads on weekends as well. They are getting the leads on weekends, but none of their regular sales executive wants to work on weekends so they don't have any regular sales executives those who are able to handle those leads so they decided to recruit it or to hire one part-time salesperson let's say that sa the salesperson name is sam and uh, he will be going he will be working on weekends and any lead which will be generated any new lead which will be generated on weekends that would be assigned to this particular user. So by default the steps which are available in default CRM in default workflow in CRM that don't have that much capability to, to do some to perform some steps or to solve this issue. So by using custom workflow activity, we can set up a custom workflow activity. We can create, we can build our own custom logic and that business logic can be added into the custom into the workflow by using plugin registration tool. So let's start building the scenario and uh, let's see how to create a custom workflow activity and how to register with our application. So to set up a custom workflow activity or to create a custom workflow activity, I'm going to use Visual Studio 2012. So I use Microsoft Visual Studio 2012. I'm using a professional edition. You can go with an ultimate edition as well. Click on file. New project and the list which are available on the left side from here you have to select workflow and under workflow select activity library. You can you can give a name or you can provide a name to your activity library. So in my scenario I provide a name lead assignment 
and click on OK. So it will create a new project. By default, one activity dot activity one dot XAML file will be available. So I delete this file because we are going to create a new class file. But before start actual implementation, I just wanted to perform three steps by using this custom workflow activity. First of all, I want to display record created day on lead form. Second, if created day is Sunday, then that lead will be assigned to a specific user. So these are the two tasks which we have to perform. So for this, I have already customized my lead entity and in this lead entity, if you haven't added an additional field, if you haven't added a new field in that lead entity, you have to add it. So let's have a look. So that's a custom field which I have added on my lead form lead entity named as created day and you can see I'm getting the day name whenever that lead was created. So this lead was this record was created on Monday or whatever is that date it will extra it will pull the week day from that date and will add the day in this particular field. So we'll be going to perform the same thing. So let's get back to the Visual Studio. So the first of all, we need to add three libraries into it. We need to add three references. We need to add three reference libraries. So first one is right click on reference, manage NuGet package. And the first library is Microsoft.xrm.stk. So I look for this file, Microsoft.xrm.sdk DLL file and add as a reference in the current solution. So I install it. My next requirement is microsoft.xrm.sdk.workflow library, DLL library. So these are the packages which are mandatory to add in your solution. And the third library is microsoft.xrm, microsoft.crm.sdk.proxy. And add this. And finally, one more reference library I need to add that was system.runtime.serialization that I can add from my local library as well. So, system.runtime.serialization, which is already added. So, we can have a look. So, all the libraries are all the packages are successfully added into it sdk.workflow, xrm.sdk, sdk.proxy, and system.runtime.serialization. And along with this, these are the default packages which will be installed, which will be added when we, while we are creating a new solution. Now I right click on the solution and we add a new class and the class name will be a lead assignment class. So I add a new class here new class and I specify a name to this lead lead assignment dot CS and add it. I include the packages using Microsoft dot XRM dot STK 
xrm.sdk.query using microsoft.xrm.sdk using microsoft.xrm.sdk.messages using system.activities using microsoft.crm.sdk.messages so these are the libraries and now i'm going to implement one interface and the implement the interface name is code activity and within this class this class so first i add this class as a public class i convert this private class into a public class so that can be it can be extracted from it can be accessed from outside this solution as well and then i'm going to override one function and the function name is which we need to override is public override void execute code entity to get the output from this function from this class i create one output variable so i created one output variable named as day of the week and this output variable will be used to return the current working current day or the day when the record is created that day name whenever the record is created whether it's a monday tuesday wednesday based on the date and will it will display in this particular field which we have added a custom field which we added on the lead entity public out argument string day of week day of week get and set property then i delete this and i create one new variable string day is equal to string dot empty date time underscore date date time or date is equal to date time dot minimum value i workflow context context is equal to and because we already had a context so is that's why i change it to execution is equal to execution execution dot get extension i workflow context i organization service factory service factory is equal to execution dot get extension i ex i organization service factory and i organization service service is equal to execution dot get extension not this get this should not be get extension this should be service factory dot create organization service context dot initialization initializing user id then i because we are going to work on lead entity so i create entity lead is equal to entity service dot retrieve lead comma context dot primary entity id comma new and i create a new column set new string and the created on bracket curly braces one two and 
and now I'm going to check that if this lead is not blank so if lead dot contains if this contains this attribute created on contains then we will be going to pull the day on the will be going to pull the day when the record has been created so if day is equal to date time lead dot attributes attribute name is created on dot day of week dot to string day of week dot to string it will store in the string format and then day of week dot set we are going to set the value execution execution comma day. now i just wanted to make sure that if the day is equal equal sunday then it would not if the day is equal equal sunday or the, if the record creation day is equal equal sunday then the record will be assigned to a specific user so i just check if day equal equal sunday then it will be going to assign to a specific user now to assign this to a specific user we need to first get the user id and also i am going to create one more function for assigning the lead so i create one function for getting the user id the current user id or a user id of a specific user so get user id i organization service service and the, the next function will be the assignment function so i create one more function this function also be a private function so i create one more private function private void assign lead i organization service comma guid lead id which we are going to pass so this function takes three parameters so guid user id so this function takes three parameters first function is the service second function is a lead id or the the record the newly created record and the third function is the user id to whom we want to assign record now to get the user id we are going to we let's create this function so i create guid underscore user id is equal to guid dot empty then i create conditional condition expression i create two condition x i'm going to create two condition expression condition one is equal to new condition expression and condition one dot attribute name is equal to first name condition one dot operator equal to condition operator dot equals and condition one dot values dot add i just wanted to check if the uh, i just wanted to assign extract the user id of a specific user and in my in my application i am the only user available so i just wanted to pull my the user id of my record my name so then this is first name i want to validate uh, means i want to extract the uh, user id based on first and last name so i just create a new last name and this will be condition second condition attribute to and this should be equal and i specify my name then i set condition one thing i have missed that is the condition expression we i need we need to define this as well and this should be condition 
so once we done we are creating a filter expression so i create one filter expression filter one is equal to new filter expression filter one dot conditions dot add range condition one comma condition two so based on these condition i just wanted to extract so i write query expression query expression query is equal to new query expression and it will be ex it will be looking for the user in system user system user it will look for the record in system user query dot criteria dot add query dot criteria dot add filter and filter i add filter one and entity collection entity collection entity call is equal to service dot retrieve multiple query and i'll just check that if entity call dot entities dot count is greater than zero then entity i create a new entity named as user is equal to entity entity call dot entities zero it will add into this and also it will assign a uh, user id so the user id which we defined earlier so underscore user id is equal to underscore user underscore user dot id so it will pull the id and store into this user id and this user id we are going to return so i write a return statement return underscore user id so it will return a user id back to the function from where it will it will be going to call and in this assigned lead in this assigned lead by getting the value by getting this service reference by getting this lead by uh, by getting the lead by getting the user id i'll just write here i just create one assigned request sorry not in this in this function i create one assigned request assigned request underscore assign is equal to new assign request or let's say instead of underscore assign as says assign is equal to this assignee so right so i'll specify i forget this so we need to start a bracket here because this will go within a function so assignee so I specify the user id assignee will be this system user user id comma target target is equal to new entity reference it will be with lead comma and whatever the lead id we got so lead id we received in this function over here lead id curly bracket close and terminate and then service dot execute underscore or service or assign so save and let's build it so that if any error it will throw an error message if there is any error so right now there are no errors it has been built successfully now we are going to register it by using plugin registration tool so i have already logged in into my plugin registration tool and now we are going to see how to add a step or how to register the custom workflow activity by using this plugin registration tool to the current application so click on register register new assembly look for the file the dll file so it's in my c drive users psp documents visual studio 
project lead assignment bin debug and lead assignment dot dll open it and then i simple register it by clicking on register now button so as you can see i am getting an error message here uh, while registering the selected plugin so how to solve this issue to so to solve this issue we need to sign in our plugin so i right click on the project then click on properties in properties click on sign in and new i'll give a name to this new lead ment lead assignment and okay and also make sure that the application the version the target framework version should be dotnet framework 4 so i'll save it and let's rebuild again and now let's try it try registering again register new assembly lead assignment So it will take some time to register and now you can see the workflow the plugin has been successfully registered so i click on ok and now we switch back to dynamic crm and let's create a new process so i create a new process for lead assignment assign lead then the category will be workflow entity will be on lead and this will be a automated workflow process so i click on ok and we will be going to do few more customization into it first i set the scope change the scope to organization and let's add a step into it so now when i click on add step you'll find out that the workflow the custom workflow lead assignment which we have created by using visual studio that was added here so i select this lead assignment again i click on add step update record and set properties because as per scenario I would like that whenever a new lead is created, it should display the current day whenever the record is created. The day, the weekday on which the record has been created will should be displayed in that particular field. So I select the create the day field and look for the values. Scroll down to lead assignment day of week. You can see this day of week is same when we dis the output field which we created in this output field day of week add it okay just add it save and close save and activate it activate it so the you can see the workflow has been activated now let's test this workflow so i'll get to leads and i'm going to create a new lead so as per scenario first of all it will be going to calculate the it will be going to find out the weekday when the record is created and if the weekday is equal to sunday that lead will be assigned to the user this specific user it means to myself so let's create a new lead so i create a new lead
I'll just enter the values. And uh, I'll enter the names, Peter, Paul, and done. And let's save the record. And I'll leads and again click on Peter Paul. So the workflow takes some time to execute. It may take some few seconds. So don't worry about that. It will be executed. So we can just refresh it. And you can see I got a record. I got a data here Tuesday. It means this record has been created on Tuesday, not on Sunday. So because this record has not been created on Sunday, so it will not assign to this user. But if this record was created on Sunday, then it would be assigned to that specific user. So that's how we can create a custom work. If you have any queries, if you have any questions, you can write to us on www.bisptrainings.com. You can subscribe our YouTube channel for more videos on Dynamic CRM. Keep watching. Have a nice day. Goodbye.